Hi all, Dan here and welcome to Twilio Models. We've been away for a while but we are now back and raring to go again. Coming up on the channel you are going to be seeing me build partwork builds uh, as I have previously done. Um, over here now uh, we've got the Spitfire that still needs to be completed. Um, whilst I've been away uh, I have had uh, the Titanic's been coming so I think I've got up to issue 52 here that all needs to be built. Um, we're also going to be starting the tumbler soon and in addition to the partwork builds um, I am also going to be building some plastic kits. Um, I've done a few of these as a child a long time ago but um, I thought I'd give those a go again. Uh, some of the ones that you may see me building on the channel that you've got displayed behind me uh, we've got the, uh, the Vulcan, we've got the Lancaster, we've got the Concorde I'm going to be trying a ship, so we're going to be trying the USS Enterprise, um, one of the uh, US's American nuclear carriers. Um, in addition, um, if you head on over to oligomodels.com, where previously you would have uh, just seen products there that I've been designing and producing myself, uh, we are also now going to be stocking various kits. So all of the kits that you can see behind me here um, are going to be available um, on oligomodels.com forward slash shop. In addition to the kits, uh, we are going to be also stocking various other products, uh, tools, glues, oils, um, whatever it is that you may need uh, for your modeling world. So, as I said before, we have got uh, a lot of issues of the Titanic. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot here that needs to be done. And that's what we're going to be starting today. So, without further ado, let's do this. So as I mentioned, I do have up to issue 52 here with me. I have had a look through most of them to see what kind of things we're going to be building as we go along. And of course I have been looking at uh, some of the other YouTubers out there, seeing how they're going uh, with building their Titanics. With issue number one, there are some parts that are incorrect and are replaced. I believe it's with issue 21 that I've got here. So as you can see here, uh, this is the back of issue 21. We can see that we've got a couple of replacement breakwaters that are white, I think the ones they sent us are grey. Uh, we've got some uh, some steam valves, we've got some capstans, um, and then over, over here we've got some fair lead rollers and some winches. Um, obviously we don't have to worry about these two parts um, as of the moment. So the incorrect parts that come with issue number one. I'm not going to be putting those on. Um, I'm not going to be putting on the replacement parts yet as I'm going to be putting them on when I eventually get to issue 21 so I can carry along uh, with the build at the same, same way that everyone else is and the same way that the magazines tell me to do it. So if that explained, um, let's get on build this. So the first two pieces that we've got for this brilliant build is a support panel here and the wooden decking. The wooden decking has got a um, it's an adhesive already on the back with um, a piece that we need to peel back to place it onto the support panel. So before we try that, we're just going to stick it on, pop it on the top. I'm going to make sure that it does actually fit, which it does perfectly. So knowing that that fits, I'm going to carefully. Peel this off, line it up, making sure that it's nice and square with the back. We're going to place it on like so, and then we're just going to use some pressure all over to make sure 
that are securely down. And there we have it. We've got the start of our Titanic. So moving this slightly just out of the way. So the first things that we're going to want is the anchor. We're going to want the three winches and the two air vents. I'm going to slide the other parts just to one side for the, for the time being and then bring him back in the forecastle deck. We're going to place these parts onto it. Um, the magazine does say that they should all be push fit connectors and that no glue is needed. Um, however, I'm going to see how well they do fit as to whether or not I'm actually going to put some glue in there just to make sure that they, um, that they stay. So the first piece is the anchor which is going to sit at this end here. That is fairly secure in place so I'm not going to worry about putting, putting any glue in. Um, of course we'll, we'll check with the other pieces. So we're going to take the first of the winches just like this and then these are going to go into the two slots just here making sure that we've obviously got them the correct way round looking at the lugs on the bottom it does look like um, they are different sized so there's only one way that they can fit in so we've got those two in there we've then got the, the uh, two air vents we're going to put in before we put in uh, the final winch and I'm just checking which where they're going to go and I believe it's this slot here that they go into just like that. So we're going to take the final winch, we're going to find the right holes for it, which is going to be these ones here, and again it's just a push to fit. And that is all looking like that. So we're then going to bring in the six uh, bits as, a, as they're called, uh, which are looking just like this, um, called either bits uh, or bollards. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And then we've got this small skylight here that are going to be fitted. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to do the small skylight. Again, looking at the pegs on the bottom, it looks like they can only go in a certain way. So that fits in the bottom just like that. And then again with the bollards, again, they can only go in one way. So they've got uh, one smaller peg and one larger peg. These are going to be going in around the outside. So the first one is going to be going in over here, making sure that, that slots all the way in. The next one in there. And then the final one over here. And the final, the next three are going to be going opposite them on the other side of the deck. So that's the fourth one in. The 
the fifth one and then finally the sixth one so all of these do feel pretty secure and there's not going to be a need to glue those into place we're then going to take the ventilation duct that we've got here and we're going to place it into a slightly larger hole that we've got here again that's pretty secure like that so in this stage it does now want us to fit the breakwaters using uh, the small holes that we've got here here and here uh, possibly better over on that camera um, one two and three but I'm not going to do that yet I am going to wait until we get to uh, issue 21 and we're going to fit them in then and then I believe the last piece to do um, on this issue is to locate uh, this hatch here that will be fitting on into sorry these holes that we've got like this um, this piece is going to need some glue in so I'm going to drop just a little bit of glue into these holes there making sure that the hatch is round the correct way I'm just going to push that down to make sure that holds in place nicely and that that we have there is part one complete <laughs> So looking at the parts that we've got with uh, this issue, looks like we're actually going to be starting on the hole. So we'll take these out of the box. Move that out of the way. You can see we are given a screwdriver um, in this issue. So we have now got some screws. Uh, I'm not going to be using this screwdriver as I do have my own that I prefer to use. Uh, so I will be moving it out of the way. But we've got one, two sections of the hole. This is one of the um, connecting panels that's going to go on the back. This piece is plastic, it's not metal, uh, but the actual hole pieces are. And then we've got this small Titanic nameplate that hopefully you can see there uh, with Titanic on. With the screws open, knowing that we are going to be screwing into metal pieces here, uh, I'm going to need, be needing some oil for that. Um, so the oil that I do use uh, is 3-in-1 oil, uh, as you can see here. Um, this oil is now in stock over at our web store, so head on over to oligomodels.com and you can find the oil there in our store. Um, if you need it for your builds. So with the screws out, we're going to turn over these two whole sections and then this bottom piece is going to slot over the other piece like so. And then with the screws that have been provided in this issue, dropping it in a little bit of oil. And there we have it, we've got the first two whole pieces together, looking like this. So the next thing that we need to do is turn this over, and then we're going to take this joining panel that we've got here, turn it around the correct way, and then this is going to fit over like so. So with that on, we're going to secure it into place. Just like that. 
and there we have it. We've got the first stages of the whole all complete. <laughs> So as you can see we've got quite a bit to do on this one uh, as we're starting um, on the engine and on the starboard um, cylinders. So the first thing to note is that all of these parts that we've got here are labelled um, inside them. So this one here I've got L3. So I believe it's R1, R2, R3, R4 and then L1, L2, L3, L4. So we're going to tidy up. So with a bit more space there to work we're going to be taking over uh, this part here um, which inside is labelled R1, R2, R3, R4 and then we're going to find the corresponding parts over here R2, R4, R3, and R1. So with these laid out, uh, we are going to open our BM screws that we're going to need. I'm going to get four of these out, and then we're going to secure these into place. So if we take our first one, it's going to slot on just like this. So with that, we're going to take our screw, load one up and we're going to secure it in from the top here. Now as we are going into metal uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the end there. It should hopefully make it screw in a little bit easier and it has done straight away. Then we have it looking just like this. So moving that piece out of the way, we're going to bring in the other part. And as we've just done, we're going to do the same thing on this side. And there we have it. We've now got the second piece done as well. So with these done, we're now going to bring over our piston rods and connecting rods. So we've got four piston rods here and we've got four connecting rods over here. And what it wants us to do is with the piston rods, these ones, I'm going to take a connecting rod making sure that both of the openings on the end you can hopefully see are facing upwards so facing the same way and we're just going to push them in together. So that's the first one done. The second one. The third one. And the fourth one, all together like so. So we now need to bring in the crankshaft. We'll move these out of the way slightly. And we need to position it so that we've got this end here to our right hand side. And we'll lay it down like that. And for our instructions, we're going to connect the crankshaft to the piston rods, um, which are attached to the con rods, connecting rods. So the first one we're going to do is the very first one that we've got. Just push this in quite easily from the back. We're then going to miss one and go to the next one. We're now going to miss two and go to the next one there. And with the final one, 
again we're going to miss one and it's going to go on to the last one there and it should then look just like that so we now want to use the port side columns which is the second uh, second lot that we did the ones which are marked L1 to 4 we're going to bring that in like so and then with our crankshaft and what we've just made we're going to balance it in making sure that each of our piston rods is nicely set in the little groove that is there for it. It should look something like this. So what we then need to do is bring over the other part, what we've been working on, and these, this should slot into place. And there we have it after a bit of a struggle, we've got these two portions together and you can see that the crankshaft is able to turn and the pistons will go up and down inside the cylinders. The next thing that we need to do is we need to bring in the two stop plates as they've called them, uh, noting that one of them is slightly longer uh, than the other. So they should only be able to go on one way. These are going to go on to the end here. I would pick up the, the wrong size first of all. Slot on over those lugs. We'll do the same with the other end. And there we have it. We've got the stop plates in with the crankshaft sitting on top. And the next thing I believe we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take these two other pieces that we've got just here, like so. And these are going to be fitting over the top to secure it in place. So we've next got the two covers to go on top of what we've just done. That are going to sit on one like that. And then dropping it a bit of oil, this is going to be held in with two screws. Turning it round. And place the other one on top. And then with a couple more screws. This end's going to be held in too. And there we have it. This is secured in place and can rotate around quite nicely there with the pistons going up and down inside the cylinders. So with the assembly upside down, we now need to take the cog and noticing that it does have a certain um, pattern in the end, so it's only going to be able to slip onto the crankshaft in a certain way. So it does say uh, to apply with a little bit of glue. I am just going to test fit this first of all. And uh, yeah, it goes in okay. And I can definitely tell that this is going to need some glue in there. So I'm going to drop just a little bit of glue onto the top there. Twist it round. And place it in. And there we have it with the wheel on. We're able to turn it quite easily. And see the pistons raising up and down like that. 
So bringing in a bit of a wet, wet kitchen towel, we've got to do the last piece, uh, or the last part. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the smoke generator and it's going to, we're going to plug it into the smoke generator testing unit. With that plugged in, I suppose it would help if batteries that I got myself out before are now put in. And then the next thing we need to do is with the wires on the top, put it on the kitchen towel, press the button. Um, I'm not sure whether or not you can actually see it on the camera, but we have got smoke coming up. And that is all there is to do on that stage. So, stage four, issue four. Um, we've got some more hole pieces, one and two, and we have got another connecting plate. What we should have in that slot there of the packaging is some screws. However, there are no screws that have come with this. So I'm going to need to have a look and see if I can find some uh, from a previous build um, or I'm going to have to get some screws for that. So, so unfortunately I can't actually do this issue which is really frustrating. However, uh, I am going to have a go uh, um, putting the pieces where they go just so we can see what it should look like. So we'll take the bits of hole out. We're going to bring in uh, the hole here. I did put that little titanic sign on before, but we'll take that out. Looking at which way this should go, which I believe is that piece in there, and then that piece in there, and then a the titanic sign should sit in like that. So this is roughly what it should look like with again another joining piece will, will go on to the end there um, roughly like that so um, yeah this is all we're actually able to do with this stage which um, yeah it's rather frustrating um, however um, these things happen obviously it's been a while um, that it's been sitting here so I haven't been able to do anything about it beforehand so with those first um, Four, well, maybe I should say three and a half pieces uh, completed. Um, that's the first modelling that I've done in about 18 months or so. Um, I have been uh, a bit anxious about um, that building again, um, but at the same time, I have been looking forward to it and I really did enjoy that. So, coming up on the channel, you will see me carrying on with the Titanic. Uh, over my right shoulder there, uh, we've also got the Spitfire. I think I've built up to stage 62 of that so far. And I've got the rest of them here waiting for me to build. I've also got the first couple of issues of the Batmobile Tumbler. And as well as the partwork builds, I'm also going to be giving some plastic kits a go. Uh, so behind me, we've got the Avro Vulcan, we've got the Avro Lancaster, and we've got the Concorde, uh, all from Airfix. I've also got uh, the USS Enterprise, one of the US's nuclear aircraft carriers from Ravel. Um, those models that you've got behind me I'm going to be doing, um, you will find um, some of those uh, in our store along with a lot of other kits as well. So if you're interested in building some plastic kits either with me or on your own, head on over to oligomodels.com, head in into our shop and then you'll be able to get some of those for yourselves. So until next time, take care and keep modelling.